this is it. So, again. There's some of the bits there. Let's put some primer on it, grey primer. I usually put NATO black on, but I thought I'd use grey this time because it's going to be uh, a dark blue. And it's either going to be that one, field blue. Medium blue, probably do a mix, I think, and get shaded and some field grey by Tamiya. Uh, so that's some of the bits I've done. Uh, I made a bit, a bit of a boo boo to be honest, because I always like to when I've done these rail kits before, I've always done the, the axles separate, but when I've come to do the base coat this morning I noticed that I've put the guiders on them there which is a nightmare because I'm going to have to take all them off how the hell I'm going to do that I don't know uh, but I will have a go but as you can see they're a good what 10, 10 inches long I've done it so the uh, the jacks are up in transport mode, so it'll look better on the the actual rail track itself. The rail track's about mm, 70, 70 centimeters long, so it's it's gonna take up some some space. But uh, I did get some photo etch for it from Edward. Uh, but that's just for the actual gun itself. So the P that's on the, the, the transporter rails is from the kit, which there's not a great deal, uh, I'll be honest. Most of it is on these, the handles there, if you can see. Uh, so yeah, so, but going back to me medical issue, I've uh, got an appointment today to see some people from Cambridge, some specialists from Cambridge, because I'm going to be going for a small bowel transplant to rectify my issues. So this is probably going to be one of the last videos I post for some time because I'm going to be in hospital the reckon on average about 90 days uh, hoping that I'm going to have to stay in Cambridge for 90 days average I think so that's going to be interesting so yes yeah, so I just thought I'd post this what I've been doing for the last few days if you have a bit of an idea, I have done some other models which I haven't posted, but and I did a load of figures. I've done a figure set for this kit as well, which I will show you in due time. Uh, but so this is where we are at the moment with it all. Uh, looks a bit faded there, does it? The uh, base coat primer. But it's all the same product paint, so it should should be an issue. I I have noticed when I've used different primers and different paints that you do get some uh, run smearing, blotching, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so what I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to sort these out because this is a nightmare to sort out. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that because I should have known from the last railway kit I did. But I'm sure it will turn out okay. Uh, and obviously, because I've only primed it, I should be able to get them off 
is some debonder, I think. And we attach once the wheels are on. So yeah, so that's that. Big kit. Uh, to be honest, I've looked on eBay and uh, eBay was selling it for like £150 and I thought where the hell are they getting the prices from? So I went to a company called Thousand and One Hobbies, they're based in France I think, <coughs> and it was €85 Euro, so again, shop around for your kits, that's what I will say. Um, so that's that, so I will endeavour to post more updates uh, and, and give give you some more views on it. Uh, so that's that, so again hopefully I'll get another few videos in, I don't know how long I'm going to wait for this transplant probably go on a list or something I don't know but uh, and whether to do it or not with this tumour issue but we'll see but yeah so that's that some great detail on this kit as always from Trumpeter and they move as well obviously and they can fasten up there uh, that bit on the side there, that extension pole there, whatever you want to call it, that's so when the gun is actually off the rail and that's connected to that piece there, it's joined and then that just carries the all the stuff to attach the, the top to the rail track so yeah so that's that guys so again I'll see you when I see you uh, hopefully that issue with, with the axles shouldn't be an issue <laughs> probably will be with me because every time I do a kit I always miss something out but again read the instructions for your kits before i know i did i always do but for some strange reason i put them on i don't know why but anyway so that's that so i will see you soon guys and keep modeling and stay safe see you later guys